you're in the hot sauce aisle. Tabasco costs six dollars. Cholula costs four. Sriracha costs five. They're all just peppers, vinegar, and salt, but they taste completely different. Tabasco burns sharp and clean. Sriracha tastes sweet and garlicky. Cholula has that earthy depth. You've wondered why? They're made from similar ingredients, so what's actually creating those different flavors? Why does one bottle take three years to make while another takes three hours? Let's explore the process. Hot sauce manufacturing splits into two completely different approaches, time versus speed. The traditional path takes years. Tabasco mashes peppers with salt, packs them into oak barrels, and waits. Three years minimum. Bacteria slowly ferment the mash, breaking down sugars, creating complex acids. Same process making sauerkraut or kimchi. The speed path takes hours. Cholula, Sriracha, Valentina skip fermentation entirely. Fresh peppers get blended with vinegar, cooked briefly, bottled same day. No waiting, no barrels. You've probably assumed all hot sauce gets made the same way. It doesn't. The manufacturing choice determines flavor, shelf life, and price. Most bottles don't tell you which path they took. Traditional fermentation creates depth through time and bacteria. Speed processing creates consistency through chemistry and cooking. Both make hot sauce. Different problems. Tabasco starts with Tabasco peppers grown on Avery Island, Louisiana. Harvest happens once a year when peppers turn bright red. Workers compare each pepper to a painted stick, showing exact color. Those peppers get ground into mash within hours. Salt gets mixed in. Three pounds per hundred pounds of peppers. The salt preserves and creates environment where only certain bacteria survive. The mash goes into white oak barrels. Same barrels used for aging whiskey. Each barrel holds hundreds of pounds covered with salt on top. Then nothing happens for three years. Inside those barrels, lactobacillus bacteria are working. Same bacteria making yogurt sour and pickles tangy. They eat sugars, producing lactic acid. This acid gives Tabasco that sharp, clean burn. You've tasted this fermentation before. Sourdough bread, aged cheese, that complexity you can't quite describe. Bacterial fermentation, creating hundreds of flavor compounds. After three years, workers open the barrels. Mash has changed from bright red to dark brownish red. This aged mash gets mixed with vinegar, strained, then bottled. The whole process takes over three years and requires massive warehouse space. This is why Tabasco costs more. Time costs money. Cholula takes different approach entirely. Pequin and Arbel peppers arrive at factory. Within same day, they're bottled as hot sauce. No fermentation. The process starts with industrial blenders. Peppers go in fresh or dry. Water or vinegar gets added immediately. Salt, spices, sometimes garlic or sugar. Everything blends into thick paste. Critical difference from Tabasco, this mixture gets cooked. Usually 160 to 180 degrees for 15 to 30 minutes. The heat kills bacteria for shelf stability. Softens pepper fibers. Caramelizes sugars slightly. After cooking, mixture gets strained. What's left is smooth sauce ready for bottling. Some brands add xanthan gum to prevent separation. Some add preservatives since there's no fermentation preserving it. Entire process from raw pepper to bottle takes four to six hours. You've probably noticed these sauces taste fresher, brighter. What you taste is cooked peppers and vinegar. Nothing transformed by time. Sriracha follows similar path, but adds garlic and sugar. Cooking caramelizes that sugar slightly, creating sweetness, balancing heat. 
then aged briefly, few weeks, not years, to let flavors meld. This is why Sriracha faced shortage in 2023. The company relies on specific pepper harvest from single region. No harvest, no sauce. Tabasco's three-year barrel aging means massive inventory cushion. Bad harvest? They still have barrels from previous years. Sriracha's speed process means they're only weeks ahead of demand. Your taste buds detect fermentation immediately. Fermented sauces like Tabasco hit with acidity first, then heat. The acid comes from bacteria, not just vinegar. Taste sharper, cleaner. Speed processed sauces hit with heat first. The heat feels more direct because there's no fermentation mellowing it. Fresh garlic in Sriracha tastes distinctly garlicky. Fresh spices in Cholula taste earthy. Texture differs too. Fermented sauces tend thinner, more liquid. Three years of bacterial action breaks down pepper cells completely. Speed sauces stay thicker unless manufacturers add water. And here's something most people don't consider. Fermented hot sauce keeps getting better in the bottle. Those bacteria are dormant, but not dead. Flavor continues developing slowly. Speed process sauces taste the same day one as day 300. They're chemically stable. Fermented sauces are alive, still changing. This is why hot sauce enthusiasts have strong brand loyalty. They're not just preferring a flavor. They're preferring an entire manufacturing philosophy. Time versus speed. Complexity versus consistency. Bacterial transformation versus immediate preservation. Both approaches work. Tabasco's fermentation creates irreplaceable depth. Sriracha's speed process delivers consistent brightness. Your kitchen probably has both for different purposes. That's you unconsciously recognizing these are fundamentally different products, despite both being called hot sauce. Next time you're reaching for hot sauce, look at that bottle differently. Sharp and clean? Three years of bacterial fermentation in oak barrels. Fresh and bright? Industrial blenders and precise cooking. Both are hot sauce. One took years of patient aging. Other took hours of precise engineering. It used to be just about the burn. Now I understand the true depth of flavor comes from time and fermentation. You're not someone who just likes hot sauce anymore. You're someone who understands the heat is only part of the story. The real difference is time, whether manufacturers gave bacteria years to transform peppers or skipped that entirely for consistent flavor.